to replace an existing license file or deploy a license for a different product, rerun the SLS installer as an administrator and use the add replace license file option. Manually copying or adding license files to the active licenses folder may result in an error. Options files must still be added manually. When you need to update your license file, there's a shortcut to the location in the support center. In NX, go to file, help, online technical support, and then license retrieval. This will bring you to the support site, so you need web key access. On that page, click on passwords and license files. On the next page, you need to select the product and version of license file you need and then click continue. You will then be prompted to download the license file. Take note while you're in here that this, from this page, you can also request an emergency license. If you require a new license file to be generated, you must fill out and submit a server change request form. This is required for any change that affects the license file, including relocating your server or changes made to your hardware. This is also used for reassignment of block nodes. The form is attained from your VAR, that's us. Information from both the old server and new server are required. This information is gathered using the GetCID utility. The form must then be signed by you and returned to us for a submission. In summation, NX2212 requires server SLS 2.1 or later. Legacy license daemons will in time be replaced by the single salt daemon with the ultimate goal of one company, one license. The default server communications port number has changed. Add license files using the SLS installer. Do not manually copy the license files into the active licenses folder. You cannot run both the legacy Siemens PLM server and the Siemens license server on the same machine. Server changes affecting the license file must be made through the VAR. If you have any technical questions or encounter any issues, you can contact us through our help desk.